One of the reasons I like Tiffany Cross's show, uh, the, the Cross Connection and other similar shows, is because they bring out parts of the news that others ignore, not realizing the impact that it actually has on the psyche of Americans in general. And I think this is, this is an important one, even though some won't initially see it, they'll probably see it as, oh, this is just sort of a catty thing with the way Megyn Kelly acts with other women. But it's deeper than that, because with a person who's out there putting out the news, if their perspective is biased, if their perspective has a particular look, if you will, it actually creates issues with some people. I want you to listen to this and then we'll take it on the other side. Normally, you guys know I use this time to address something or someone relevant who has warranted some sort of ire from the community. However, this week, I'm taking a slightly different approach and addressing someone completely irrelevant. I'm speaking, of course, about Megyn Kelly. The 50-year-old bully is trying to bulldoze her way back into relevance that only comes to women like her for being a provocateur, not for offering any type of intellectual input. Why? Because the blackface connoisseur who had to apologize for ridiculously asking why it was racist for white people to wear blackface for Halloween is now going after someone who's less than half her age but has twice her intelligence. 23 year old Naomi Osaka who announced she would not participate in post-match interview conferences during the French Open and ultimately ended up leaving altogether and withdrawing from Wimbledon citing her own mental health. Now Kelly accused Osaka of not being genuine after the tennis star beautifully graced the covers of multiple magazines which were of course shot months prior which Osaka explained in a since deleted tweet. Now we reached out to Kelly's attorney for comment but did not get a response. But when Osaka understandably blocked Kelly on Twitter, this woman said that Naomi just didn't like tough questions. Such insight from the land of the inconsequential. Shout out to all of you out there prioritizing your mental health, especially when dealing with someone who spews nonsense like this. By the way, for all you kids watching at home, Santa just is white. Yeah. Jesus was a white man too. To all you Karens watching at home, please make a list for your white Santa and pray to your white Jesus for a light, please. Because we're out here living our best life, fighting on the front lines to preserve democracy, taking up space at the highest levels of government, making long overdue and necessary changes in newsrooms, winning Emmys while twirling on our haters. We come from a long line of torchbearers, lighting fires that illuminate the world and burn away chains. So it's no coincidence that Snow White and the seven dumb takes she's had recently overwhelmingly target black women. The amazing luminary Nicole Hannah-Jones, whom Kelly went after over the 1619 Project, the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, who Kelly said should stop whining about the treatment of baby Archie, Olympic hammer thrower Gwen Berry, who Kelly suggested be removed from the Olympics due to her protest. Kelly is really just trying to crawl her way back into social relevance and into the hearts of Fox News viewers by regurgitating their favorite attacks, all while benefiting from the work that we do. We're quite used to it. But when it comes to us, sister, stop punching above your weight. You keep asking for this smoke that you really don't want. You want to act like a high school mean girl and you'll get treated that way. Sit down, be humble, while our left stroke keeps going viral. Let the grown women speak. You're not invited to this table. You don't have the range. The key word, targeting. And you know, it may seem kind of, well, who cares? The reason one should care is that somebody who has a platform who methodically attacks a particular sect, a particular group, that has influence in the psyche of the entire population. Why some people are generally disregarded, why some people are generally stereotyped, etc. Because we have those with the platform who use it incorrectly. Thank you very much, Tiffany Cross. At least you're using your platform to point out those who are not doing it the way they should. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.